Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to the start of another new reaction series. This is Kingdom. Okay, if you're watching this on YouTube, I actually will have been watching and reacting to Kingdom for a little while now. Um, if you are unaware, Patreon gets early access to all my reactions. And what I like to do with series, especially if it's a shorter one like Kingdom, is I like to watch as many of the episodes as possible and get all of the full-length ones up for uh, as much early access as possible for patrons. So by the time this comes up on YouTube, actually, probably the whole series, if not close to it, will be up for full-length reactions, early access on Patreon. So if you're interested in that, check it out. And there will be um, also early access to some of the episodes for a lower tier. So yeah, if you're interested in that, if you can't wait, uh, please do check out my Patreon and yeah, we can have some fun there. But for everybody else that just wants to check it out on YouTube, I appreciate you guys being here. If you're new to the channel, I'm Molly. Um, and I was not really sure what to expect with the show, but I have been thoroughly enjoying the ride. Um, I like how different it is from other zombie series out there. The historical setting puts a huge twist on things, and yeah, it's been very fun. So, hope you guys enjoy with me. Let's get into episode one. Here we go. Wait, was that guy the king? in the credits, because he certainly was decked out very ornamentally. Oh no, is the king a zombie? <laughs> uh oh. Why do I feel like this kid's gonna ignore what he said and look into the bedchamber and see he's a zombie? <laughs> He's not listening. is undead. <laughs> Seems a bit strange. <laughs> Seems very extreme. Kill their entire fucking fit. Oh god, they're gonna kill them right now? Just like that. Hey, what is it? Oh, yeah, that's believable. He is a real person. He is a real person. He is a real person. I feel like this guy's being grave, but... I mean, that guy was being pretty brave. Maybe he assumed he was dead anyway, so might as well say his piece, but... This person seems ominous. Then, you I mean, there's some logic to that. 
아바마마께서 정녕 무사하신 것입니까? 할 것이다. Their argument sounds reasonable. If he actually did have smallpox, he wouldn't want the crown prince to get like potentially infected. But at the same time, you know we know he's he's a zombie, so that means he's dead. So he should be king already. Okay, the hats are crazy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Good catch. <笑>제1년째녹봉보다비싼곳을집어던지시면어찌하십니까그렇게손질을부르실걸면차라리중종마음을부르집어던지시면세자에게가장중요한건그 <웃음> <웃음> 내 다가성에 손을 댄 것이 알려지면 오 마이 갓 당장 잘릴 터인데 약방 일기에 손댄 사실이 알려져도 저는 잘릴 것입니다 <웃음> 오늘 밤 다가성은 <웃음> 귀한 육전이라고 들었다 오 마이 갓 저항을 싫으면 어쩔 수 없고 오 마이 갓그 동특이 전 마지막 Guys, I found, I found, I found the king. Um. creepy looking the way the shadow moved with the light okay but now what <laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs>。<laughs
관아에서 항공미를 곧 내려준다 했으니 그때까지 조금만 참으세요. 참이나 내려주시겠다. 응? 그놈의 황국미 기다리다가 하루에만 수십 명이 굶어 뒤지는 판인데 하는 거야. 저거라도 먹지 않으면 저 사람들 더 위독해지니까 입 조심하세요. 말씀해 주십시오. 전화를 배위식 통공 전그 어디에도 계시지 않았습니다. 직접 보시지 않으셨습니까? 대전을 찾아라. 원란이건 한양성이건 사사치 두셔서 이건 무릎 꿇고 오라. 세전에 이제 이 나라의 국본이 아니. 영모를 꾸민 대역죄인이다. 어, oh 뭐해. 너, no, don't kill that guy anyway. The hell is wrong with you? He actually didn't know. He didn't do anything. This guy is fucked up. This guy has problems. 이리다 들키겠습니다. 빨리 돌아가셔야 합니다. 저쪽이 남쪽이니 저길에 끝에 동네가 있겠구나. Go 난 알아야겠다. 아버지 맞게 이 나라의 왕실에. It's good because if you go back, it won't work out very well. <웃음> 무슨 말씀이십니까? 동네로 가야겠다. 동네를요? <웃음> 지금요? 아니 수발들 내 시도 없이 국내도 없이 딸랑 저랑 저랑 둘이서요? 아니 되옵니다. 갈 것이다. 한양에서 동네까지 길이 얼마나 먼 길인지 아십니까? 궁궐에서 여기 올 때도 시궁장 냄새 때문에 뒷담 냄새 때문에 <웃음> 몇 번이나 구역질을 하시지 않습니까? 그런데 저먼 동네길을 구백리길을 그 고된 길을 어찌 가시려고 하십니까? 지금까지 살아온 것이 like you're too sensitive. 그보다 더 고대였다. 진주는 음. 어떡하시고요? 궁궐에서 드시던 산의 진비는 없습니다. 내가 했다. 방금 뭐라 하셨습니까? 내가 영모를 꿈꿨다. Oh shit! Wait! 아니 왜요? 어지. So that wasn't just an elaborate plotting lie. 그럼 왕이 되실 세사사가 아니십니까? 근데 왜요? 하지만 적통인 개비가 아들을 낳으면 죽을 수밖에 없는 후궁의 몸에서 태어난 반쪽짜리 세자. Oh no. 그래서 그리 하였다. 살고 싶어서. Oh, no. 이게 뭐예요? 눈이 없나 보면 몰라. 병자들은 굶어 죽어가는데 의원이란 적재는 방구석에만 틀어박혀 있으니 나라도 살자 싶어서 사슴 한 마리 잡아왔다. 왜? 사슴이요? 지금 산 속에 사슴이 남아있다고요? 
bro. You have any idea what you've done? <laughs> oh, God. Damn. She's like, what the hell is your problem? So this is a common thing. They're the country is starving so much that people are resorting to cannibalism. But I mean, this time it's gonna be a big problem. So. Like, she's trying to stop him from choking, but... Uh-oh. Yeah, you fucked up, sir. You... didn't realize what the hell you were doing. Do not open that. Well, that was episode one and um quite the start to the series i have to say they really you know it was kind of slow going throughout the episode and getting into things um after a pretty intense start and then at the end it kind of ramped up extremely high um in intensity once again so all right so the king has somehow become a zombie. He died and he's become a zombie, but the queen and that one counselor guy who is her father and like a head of a powerful clan and her brother who's a military commander are hiding the fact that, well, that he's a zombie, but also that he's dead. Um. <laughs> Because if information about that got out, then the crown prince would become king. And they're trying to hold out until she gives birth because they're hoping it's a boy. Because since her kid would be legitimate and the crown prince's mother was not the king's wife and he's illegitimate, her son would become king instead. So that's what the hell they're doing. The crown prince being suspicious... And already, like, I guess not pleased with the way the country is being run, um, with, with his father's wife's family, like, in a lot of power, conspires with a bunch of scholars and some, I don't know exactly who, to try to, to take the throne, which that plot has been discovered. So, now the Queen's family is able to use that as ammunition to say that he 
he's committed treason and that he shouldn't become, you know, the king and that he needs to be arrested and everything. So they're trying to find him. He's trying to find the doctor that we saw at the beginning who works in the establishment we saw here at the end. Um, because he knows the truth about his father. Um, so presumably if he finds him, he'll find out not only that his father is dead, but that his father is a zombie. The very same monster that he almost encountered in the hallway. And meanwhile, <laughs> apparently the people of the countryside are in such dire straits in need of food that they're resorting to cannibalism. And so that's how we're going to actually see this zombie outbreak happen. So it's interesting because that's that's quite different also, again, from, from what you'd normally expect. Like, most things when we see zombification happening, it's directly from being bitten, right? Um, but the king, who was a zombie, bit that kid... And he was just dead. Like, he, as far as we know, wasn't a zombie. But from the other people eating him, they then became zombies. And real fast. That happened really quick. So, I don't know the whole mechanics of this, but it's definitely an interesting turn. And that one guy, the smart-ass guy... Um, <laughs> he thinks he's smart. He thinks he's smart. And that he is willing to, like, overlook the morality of the doctors, the caregivers there. Um, the feelings of disgust about feeding bodies to, to ailing people. He thinks he's doing the smart thing. And look what just happened! Nope, nope, this happened instead. So now they're stuck there with a whole bunch of zombies. And I don't know how the heck they're going to get out of that situation. As far as I can see... There's those two locked in that space, and then the actual, the old doctor. And I don't know if there's anybody else that didn't eat the food, other than the other uh, doctor lady who's been eaten now, that we saw getting devoured by numerous zombies. And the crown prince is headed there, where the zombie outbreak is occurring, so... That's setting the stage, and quite the stage it sets. Um, I do think it's really cool, the kind of, the setting, um, the historical time frame that they're putting this in. It's definitely makes a different sort of zombie tale, and yeah. So far I'm enjoying it, I'm very curious to see what's gonna go down next, and um, how they're going to survive being around all those zombies I have no idea but I guess we're gonna find out in the next episode so I'm gonna wrap this up here let me know your thoughts in the comments guys thank you so much for joining me and hopefully I'll see you next time bye